Hey everyone, it's Jason Roselle. You're watching Being Fat Sucks, and guess what? It's been two months since Martin, Michael, and Kate have been training, eating right, and of course, having their mind right. Now, I have Martin and Kate right now on the side. They're a little nervous. You know, they've been working hard. They've had ups and downs. Let's see what happens. Mr. Martin, step on up, my brother, to the scale. All right, you may get off. You ready for the news? Yes, I am. Before I give you that, of course, I gotta make him wait a little bit. Before this, we actually went ahead and I measured every part of his body from his neck to his stomach, his arms, thighs, and even his chest. This month, Martin, you've lost a total of an overall 3.5 inches. And to the month, in date, a total of seven inches lost overall. That's great, right? Is that great? I... That's seven inches off of your body. I, that's what I'm thinking, okay. Uh, hello, I mean, an inch here, an inch here, half an inch here, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I've never done all these measurements before, so I'm like, sounds good to me. <laughs> Put it this way, what we see in the mirror is more important than what sometimes we weigh. Because you can weigh yourself day in and day out and be like, oh my God, I've lost three pounds, I've gained five pounds. That can be simple water weight. We'll get into that into a future episode. Young gentlemen, you've lost a total of an overall seven inches on your body. Congratulations. I love it, I love it, I love it. You're, I'm gonna give you some even crazier, better news or worse, dun dun dun. Yes. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm doing the calculations, one second. Oh boy. Mr. Martin, this month you've lost a total of 7.3 pounds. Total amount since you've started, 23.2 pounds. Yes, sir, I love it, I love it. Woo! I'm wearing stuff that I never wore, or I didn't wear for a long, long time, like this shirt. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at you, you stud. <laughs> I haven't worn these biker shorts. How do you feel? You know, little things. You want to get up from the sofa? Okay. You know, you sink into the sofa. I thought, oh, okay, it's because my knees are not so good. Why is it so hard to get up? Right. <laughs> I think it was my fat stomach, because actually I can pop up better. That's awesome. I put on fashion shows at home. I'm like, I can wear this now. I can wear that now. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you've lost almost 25 pounds yeah. in two months. That's, that's unbelievable. I mean, it feels good, and uh, I'm wearing clothes I wasn't wearing. And what can I say? It makes me happier. How does your wife feel about that? She's happier. Yeah? <laughs> and that makes me happier. Is that in every department? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, I, then I'm doing my job in everywhere, then I'm happy. Congratulations, get back to yeah, your thanks, post. Sir. Beautiful Kate, step on up, let's get on that scale. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> All right, you can get off. All right, Kate, how do you think you did this month? Um, awesome, no. mediocre, horrible. Um, I'd say mediocre. Mediocre. I did have some challenges. Don't be telling you now. Well, I, I I appreciate her honesty. Hold on. Why do you think you did mediocre? Well, because I was working a lot. Okay. And like when I'm on set, like I don't have time to eat like how we should, and okay. like don't have a lot of great options. But those are just excuses because of course you can find them, but it is. Okay, what is one thing that I taught everyone, and including yourself, Martin, Michael? Bring our own snacks. Preparation. Preparation is key. I don't care if it's, you know, going to work or you're going on a date. You don't go on a date without, you know, taking a shower, putting on some makeup, right? Right, but like when you're exhausted and running, like I've been busy for two weeks. I know it's an excuse, but I'm- Everyone watching, including me, Martin can tell you he works as a music producer at crazy hours. We can, I can sit here and give you billions of excuses. But I just noticed like what a difference it made, so. Right. I, I'm going to make sure that well, I really. Right, let's not jump the gun. Let's see how you did first. Okay, here we go, Kate. Actually, before I give you the answer on how much weight you've lost, I'm gonna tell you how many inches you lost because I did measure her prior too. You lost a total of 2.5 inches on your body 
and in two months total, 7.25. That's pretty awesome either way. Nice. So, you know, that's almost seven and a half inches overall on your body, neck, chest, thighs, stomach. A woman out there are looking at you right now, you're like their superhero, because they're looking at her. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know what? I, if she can do it, I can do it too. There's no excuses, mind right, body tight. But now let's break it down and shake it down. Your weight, you've lost 3.8 pounds this month. That's bad. It's, yeah, it's nothing special. It's nothing to go you know, doing backflips about. Now, total lost is 18.2 pounds since you started, which is overall amazing. First month, she kicked butt. She overpowered everyone, Martin, Michael. They were looking at her like, damn, baby. But <laughs> the truth is, you were honest. She was honest with herself. Are you being honest with yourself at home? Are you waking up? Are you having the right meals? Are you eating every three hours? Are you eating the right proper foods? If you're not, guess what? It's never too late. You can start today. Kate, you only lost 3.8 pounds this month. You know what, Kate? I don't care how you feel right now. You should be proud of yourself because you didn't quit. And I still lost weight. It just wasn't as much as I anticipated or... Absolutely. Either <laughs> way. Either way, yeah. you yourself, people at home, it's amazing what you're doing. You did not quit. You're still here. You're going strong. All right, Kate, Martin, let's go have a sit down. Let's talk a little bit. Well, we're here. I got one question. Where in the world is Michael? Yeah, where is Michael? Yeah, empty spot. Um, I have some news. Michael quit. What? Yeah. Michael uh, contacted me and uh, he just decided that he didn't want to move forward. You know, um, this is not for everyone, guys. You know, uh, you have to have the right state of mind, right attitude. The list goes on. And unfortunately, Michael wasn't able to. I mean, keep in mind, this is not Jenny Craig. This is not the biggest loser. This is not a competition, you know? And from the bottom of my heart, I really wish Michael the best. And on behalf of Martin and Kate, I think we all feel the same. We hope you get your mind right, because when you do, your body will become tight. Now, Miss Kate, you didn't do too well this month. Let's talk about that. Okay. <laughs> what do you feel has been your biggest struggle? I mean, let's let's get into that. Um, honestly, I was working literally every day for two mm -hmm. weeks, um, long hours, um, and I haven't been at my own home, so now I'm back. And um, it was just hard for me to like buy the groceries and try to make food when I'm working like you know longer than 12-hour days and driving sometimes two hours. So it was just crazy. I know they're lame excuses, but that was a fact. But like you said, I could have prepared meals, things like that. Absolutely. So I really don't have that much of an excuse, except for like the working out. I didn't have as much time as I normally would. I've been looking, and let me you know, kind of tell the audience, kind of like when we touched on this uh, about a week ago, I had Michael, Martin, and Kate send start sending me pictures of their foods, what times they're eating them, what types of foods. Both of these people right here have been successful about that most of the time. Right. You, you did great overall, but there were some missing, yeah, there were some missing pictures. You only lost 3.8 pounds, right. and it all makes sense. You cheated on some of your meals. Yeah. You didn't do all your workouts. It is no. what it is. I know. And that's fine. It's not you're, fine, you, but... You're going to do what about it next month? It. You're going to change it. You're going to stick to it because it's we starting have... Starting right now. Right now. That's it. You know, when was the last time you ate? This morning. This morning. How many hours ago was that? Um, at like 8.15. 8.15. And it's already been past three hours. You right. should already had your apple, almonds, a snack. You know, just remember, Kate, never hungry, never full. Okay. If you're too full, you're not going to want to do anything. And if you're hungry, you're not going to be able to function. Moving on to Martin. What's up, my brother? Hey, man. I gotta, I gotta give you some extra love. 
Some extra love this month. But you know, I don't feel so great about it because I think I could have done better. Of course you could have done better, but you did excellent, okay? We, there's always room for improvement. Even me to this day, there's always like, oh my God, I can look a little bit better. Of course we can, but let's not focus on what you could have, you know, what you didn't do. Let's focus about the amazing things you did, okay? I mean, your results here, brother. <laughs> Guys, you tell me at home, is he doing something right or wrong? It's pretty awesome. Uh, well, I got I, off to a slow start. I mean, you know that, because I, for the first two and a half weeks, I didn't lose anything. But then we, we were sitting down talking here, and you were talking about preparing and planning, like plan the meals a week ahead. Right. And you know what? I went out and I bought a week's worth of food, and it did help me. Because, I mean, whatever I lost, I lost it in the second half and none of it in the first half. So it right. made a huge, huge difference. Right, right, right. And, and, and you know, you, you both were in that plateau stage. And, uh, you know, look, ironic enough, this system works. It's just case proven. It even worked for Kate in a situation of stress, you know, not preparing. Two weeks. It was two weeks. Martin took those two weeks and took it to his advantage. He said, forget about it, I'm doing this. And you did it. And you lost almost eight pounds, you know? So, you know, we already talked about it prior. We're gonna continue kicking butt, keeping it caliente, burning up as much as we can. You guys are almost, almost there. You know, we gotta lose that, that weight and uh, there's no holes bar. But it's good to like check in now and see yeah. the, like what a difference it makes when you're actually doing exactly right. what you're what you're doing, to. It's, it's, it's being accountable right. for yourself and me being accountable with you. What are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? It's okay. See, people at home, I wanna get this clear. I don't have to be right next to you like I'm with Martin and Kate. We're doing this as a soul group, as a team, all right? I don't care if you're 350 pounds or you're only 160 and you're looking to lose just a few pounds. This is obtainable. You just be, be accountable for yourself. I'm only here to guide and teach. That's all I can do. Kate's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Martin, you know you're not perfect. <laughs> yeah. But you're pretty close to it. No, I'm just right. <laughs> but no, listen, um, I'm so proud of you both. And, and I mean it, uh, I, I just can't wait to, to see more progress. And, and, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna be checking in more with you guys. You at home, continue sending those comments. Um, subscribe to the channel, send in your videos. If you lost eight pounds this month or even four pounds this week, send it. Say, hey, you know what? I'm a subscriber of Being Fat Sucks. I love you guys, or you may hate me for all I care. <laughs> love is hate, hate is love. My name is Jason Roselle, you're watching Being Fat Sucks. Follow me on Twitter, Jason Roselle Live. Keep it caliente. Thanks guys. Yeah. Take care.